everyone welcome to gem chem now this is the second part of your chemistry in daily life now before starting already one video is being uploaded in channel you can watch it i will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present about this video now in this case we are going to deal with analysis of caffeine in coffee and tea also we are going to detect the chicory level in case of toddy and coffee and the last we are going to detect the amount of methyl alcohol present in the alcoholic beverages so for analysis of caffeine in coffee and tea we are going to see the sample preparation where we need to grind and homogenize the mixture whereas we are going to extract the sample using different kind of solvents as mentioned water methanol chloroform after that we have different analytical techniques first is hplc where we have a liquid chromatography taking place next we have gas chromatographic technique where we are having a method where we are incorporating both gas chromatography as well as mass spectrometry so in that case we need to vaporize the sample and pass through the chromatographic column and the components are detected using the mass spectrometry next technique is very usual which we have already seen our in our previous video also uv visible spectroscopy and in this case we are going to see specific wavelength absorbance in the sample next we have another method that is thin layer chromatography so in this case we have a silica gel plate and using that silica gel plate we are separating the caffeine and we are observing it under the uv light we have spectrofluorometry where we can see that this technique involves measuring the fluorescence of the caffeine which is present in the solution it is highly spe specific sensitive as well as utility is immense in case of the spectrofluorometry next we have our titration method this is old as well as most versatile method which we can use daily so these were the methods to detect the amount of caffeine present in a sample of a coffee now how to know about the quality control and the validation now standards and calibration so we have a standard solution of caffeine and using that we create a scale which is called calibration curve after that we quantify that which amount of caffeine is good or bad for a particular sample of coffee recovery test known amounts of caffeine are added to the sample matrix to ensure that extraction and analysis methods are accurate suppose you know for a particular method this amount was extracted previously so that is your standard and now you are extracting in a same method but different coffee so you can compare it easily how to detect the caffeine and reproducibility multiple samples should handle the same situation under which the sample analysis is being done now data analysis the results from the analytical instruments we are going to process it and we are going to detect the caffeine concentration of the original sample there is certain calculations which we don't need to understand because we only have a qualitative idea this is the structure of caffeine which is a important component of your syllabus now if we are going for the next topic it is detection of chicory in coffee we are going to use specific chemical methods which we have already seen in the previous case also one is high performance liquid chromatography so in that case also same way objective as well as procedure is being produced in the pdf next method is also ga gas chromatography as previous one we have thin layer chromatography same way just elaborate procedure is being mentioned we have our spectroscopic method as we have seen in the previous case also uvvis and ftir we have immuno assays we are going to use different kind of antibodies which specifically attack the chicory protein or polysaccharides and then understand how much antibody is being used up so that amount of chicory can be obtained so we prepare a sample use an enzyme linked immunoabsorbent assay elisa designed to detect specific chicory antigen and then we con 
we are going to find out quantify the presence of chicory based on antibody binding each methods have certain advantages as well as limitations but the detailed result sophisticated result is genuinely obtained by hplc as well as gcms now if we are shifting for the next one we are going to detect the amount of chloral hydrate in toddy so for that case in order to detect the chloral hydrate in toddy we have a different method now what is toddy toddy is actually palm sap drink which is fermented same method as you can see gas chromatography next is your high performance liquid chromatography and you have thin layer chromatography and again fourier transform infrared spectroscopy that i have already told you ftir and these are the methods each method has its own strength as well as weakness but most effective is again hplc while ftir offers a non destructive method when we are undergoing through hplc your sample gets destroyed but ftir prevents the destruction of the sample this is the structure of chloral hydrate the last topic of our discussion is your determination of methyl alcohol in alcoholic beverages so we are going to detect the presence and concentration of methyl alcohol various analytical techniques can be employed but here is an overview again same procedure but here we are going to see that alcohol is being detected gas chromatography is one of the method next we have high performance liquid chromatography more or less the procedure is same but the chemicals get changed so you have to read through each of the chemicals to get an idea enzymatic assay as we have seen in the previous case ftir so these are the four methods which are effective in case of methanol detection for ftir to be very specific we have our identification mark for 1033 centimeter inverse for ftir now hplc enzymatic assay and ftir provide an alternative method that can be useful for determining available quantity and we can get it in required precision so here ends the topic for chemistry in daily life part 2 video now the pdf will get uploaded i will give the link in, of the pdf in the description box and hope this was helpful thank you for watching